everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today what I have for you guys is a mini news roundup regarding DLC weapons in Black Ops 3. So recently Treyarch added in a lot of new content into the black market. That new content includes the FAMAS Assault Rifle, which we all know and love from Black Ops 1. They now call it the FFAR. They added in the Slash and Burn Axe, which is a brand new melee weapon. They also added in the Skull Splitter melee weapon, as well as the L4 Siege, which is a new launcher here in multiplayer as well. They also added in new taunts and gestures and new specialist gear sets as well, but that's not the most exciting part of this information. The most exciting part is the fact that Treyarch announced a Season Pass bonus. So if you own a Season Pass, you will be granted with one weapon bribe, 10 rare supply drops, and 10 liquid divinium vials. Now, as I've said before in my previous video talking about the hashtag black market blackout, rioting online and sending hateful comments to Treyarch and Activision is not the way to solve this issue. I'm just as upset as the rest of the community is regarding these DLC weapons. You know, we should be getting weapons with the map packs. We should be getting free weapons as a part of owning the season pass, but that's not the case. They're adding in plenty of new weapons, but they're locking them behind a gambling system. You're never gonna know if you're gonna earn one of those weapons today or tomorrow. You just never know. So again, we've seen bribes in the past for cosmetic purposes, and we've all requested weapon bribes in the game. We were receiving DLC weapons a part of map packs in the past, and now that there's no limitations as to what developers want to add in to Call of Duty since we have these brand new current gen consoles and the PC of course, they're still not adding in weapons to map packs. They're still not doing it. So again, the reason behind that is not because they just can't. There's no hardware limitations. It's business. That's the whole point. So again, I'm very happy about this, but along with that, Treyarch also announced daily and weekly contracts within Black Ops 3 multiplayer as well. So this was also what I was talking about before, finding a solution to this issue. The black market blackout to me has a sole purpose and I agree with the purpose of that hashtag, but I don't agree with sending hateful comments online. So again, I liked it. YouTubers are very passionate about multiplayer. I love the fact that people actually care about earning weapons the right way and not gambling, but Sending hateful comments to developers, to David Von Der Hart, that's not going to solve anything. So on May 6th, Treyarch released a one-time special contract. This was the first contract in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, and it consisted of getting 75 wins, which would then reward you with 10 rare supply drops and one weapon bribe. So if you complete the contract and own the season pass, you'll have two weapon bribes and 20 badass rare supply drops to open up. So right around this time when the special contract released, we also had a double cryptic key weekend. And during this weekend, I managed to earn the HG40 SMG, L4 Siege Launcher, Skull Splitter Melee Weapon, the Butterfly Knife, and even the Brass Knuckles. So I did include some footage in the background of when I opened up these specific supply drops with all of these badass new weapons. But keep in mind, Treyarch started us off with the special contract. When they released a special contract, the daily and weekly contracts were still considered coming soon. But at the time of uploading this video, daily and weekly contracts are now available in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. So just as Treyarch has specifically said, the rewards for daily and weekly contracts include bonus crypto keys, exclusive calling cards, and more. In addition, we'll also be adding new contracts every day starting on June 14th and new contracts will cycle every 24 hours at 10 a.m. Pacific Daily. Weekly contracts will cycle every Monday at 10 a.m. PT. Now, this is not the only piece of good news that we got from Treyarch. We also finally got the confirmation of the 10th specialist in multiplayer. So for months, we've been getting rumors of a 10th specialist. We've been getting rumors that it's going to be the black market guy known as Blackjack. We were getting rumors that you're going to be earning this 10th specialist through contracts. And turns out all of that information was indeed correct. Treyarch released an official trailer for the new contract system as well as the introduction of the 10th specialist known as the Blackjack. So I'll leave that trailer down in the description but as Treyarch has said there is also a special mercenary contract that will be available which will allow you to use the newest playable specialist for a limited time only the blackjack in order to get the mercenary contracts you have to complete weekly contracts so the blackjack is the new 10th specialist in black ops 3 the character is the black market dealer himself 
the limited time period for blackjack is 60 minutes of game time. Treyarch notes that if you are in the middle of a game when your 60 minutes expires, you will be allowed to finish that game using blackjack. So here are the blackjack's abilities. We first up have rogue. Copy the specialist weapon of enemies that you kill when your power meter is full. You must get kills to fill your power meter. We also have the gambler ability. Get a random specialist ability when your power meter is full. Power meter has a faster than normal fill rate. With the rogue ability, once your power meter is filled, killing the next specialist will let you have access to their ability. But if you kill additional specialists as your meter is filled, the option to flip the ability will appear to cycle through which one you want to activate. For the gambler ability, once the power meter is filled, a random ability will be drawn. If you do not like that ability, you can press left on the d-pad and have it randomly select another ability. Once you've activated the mercenary contract, Blackjack will challenge you to do your best with the rogue and gambler abilities. If you complete the challenges, you will earn an exclusive calling card. Treyarch also confirmed that Blackjack Specialist can only be used in public matches. The character is not playable in custom games or arena. So yes, this is very huge news. There's a ton of new information regarding Call of Duty that's piling up all over the internet. And again, at the time of uploading this video, E3 has begun. We've already had the PlayStation and Xbox conferences. And along with that, we have a lot of new information regarding Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which I'll be covering in the next couple of days as well. And along with that, I'll also be finishing up my my Zetsubo no Shima DLC Zombies coverage leading up to the teaser trailers for the third map pack in Black Ops 3 which is expected to be released in the next couple of weeks as well. But to wrap things up, I'm very happy with this new system. This is exactly what the community needed. This is the solution that we've been waiting for. And again, we probably would have saw the system a lot sooner, but again, it's all about what happens behind closed doors. To remind you, Activision is the publishing team behind Call of Duty, while Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer Games are the development teams behind Call of Duty. Just remember that. There's people out there who still forget that. There's people out there who still blame Treyarch for the bullshit within Black Ops 3. It's not Treyarch's fault that weapons aren't released with map packs, or that weapons aren't released as separate microtransaction purchases. It's Activision's fault. If Activision says, we don't want weapons released with map packs or as separate microtransactions, we want them released in the black market so we can persuade people to buy COD points. If that's what they want, and that's what they say, then that's what's gonna happen. It's as simple as that. Treyarch can't say no, but what they could do is come up with a solution to where the community is kept happy while Activision still makes a profit. That's how it works. And again, those type of scenarios take a lot of time. And as we've seen, contracts have been delayed by almost a month. So again, Cherokee is doing their best. They've come up with a really beautiful system that's very simple for Black Ops 3 so that we can earn a lot of the things that we want. So again, we have these very cool daily contracts that pretty much cycle every single day at 10 a.m. And we can earn some smaller rewards such as crypto keys and calling cards. But we also have the weekly contracts which cycle every Monday and will allow us to earn things like weapon bribes, supply drops, and even the ability to play as the 10th specialist known as the Blackjack. So thanks for watching everybody. Leave all your thoughts and feedback down below in the comment section. And also let me know, do you think this is better than Sledgehammer Games' solution with Advanced Warfare's Elite Weapons? As we all remember, when we all requested a direct way to earn Elite Weapons in Advanced Warfare, instead of giving us simple ass challenges to complete, they basically came out and said, you have to be a certain prestige to use this specific weapon if you don't earn it from a supply drop. And to me, that was complete bullshit. Complete bullshit. What that's saying is, okay, you want this BAL Obsidian Steed or the ASM-1 Speakeasy? You have to play for an extensive amount of time to be prestige 15, prestige 17, so on and so forth. And that was ridiculous. That was a horrible solution to the elite weapon problem. But with these base weapons in Black Ops 3 multiplayer, the only way we can earn them is again through supply jobs. But now that we have contracts, it'll be a lot easier to earn them. We don't have to sit down and gamble and spend hundreds of dollars while we cross our fingers hoping for one of the new weapons that we want to appear within the supply job that we open. We don't have to do that anymore. Now instead of gambling, we can actually earn crypto keys every day at a faster rate. We can hopefully earn weapon bribes after completing weekly contracts and so on and so forth. But this has been DK Dynamite. Stay tuned in for a bunch of news roundup videos regarding Infinite Warfare, as well as the latest information regarding Black Ops 3. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.
Yes, man. Yes. Hell yeah, man.